how to root your Android device which is running Android 13 without access to a custom recovery. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can root your Android device without a custom recovery and the device which we are going to use in this video is the google pixel 6a which is running android 13 now do note that all the files all the applications all the relevant links can be found in the description of this video and before you ask me hey manji is my data going to be lost the answer to that is no your data is not going to be lost and before I forget, you of course do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Now, how do you unlock the bootloader on your Google Pixel 6a? Video for that can be found in the description of the video along with videos for Xiaomi devices. And the other thing which you need is some patience. Next thing we need is a file manager application which will let us install APKs. You can use any file manager application which you want to. I prefer to use FX File Explorer. So we are going to go into the Google Play Store and we are going to install this application called FX File Explorer. And once the application has installed, we are going to open it. Do you want it to send you notifications? That is your personal choice. Here in we are going to say accept for access to photos and audio. We are going to say allow, then we can go back and disable this toggle for a trial version. The next thing we need is the Magisk APK. So we're going to go to the GitHub page of Magisk. Of course, all the links are in the description of this video. And this is the page and this is the downloads section. Now you have different variants. So you have Magisk, you have Beta, you have Canary and you have a debug version. We are going to use the first one, which is your stable one. So to download, just tap on this and it is going to take you to the releases page. Here in scroll down and you need the APK. So we need the Magisk APK. You do not need the stub release or the source code. Select the APK and if it asks you the file might be harmful, we are going to say download anyway. And once the file has downloaded, we can go back to our home screen and then we can go into FX file manager. Once you are in FX file manager, go into main storage then you can go into the download page and as you can see here it is the magisk apk select it and it will ask you to let fx file manager install apks on your device go into settings enable the toggle for allow from this source and then we can install the magisk app on our device now once magisk has installed we are going to open the applications do you want to let it send you notifications in this case i will select allow but then again that is your personal preference and here and as you can see we have the app version but magisk is not installed it is telling me na now as you can see ram disk here is yes this means i need to patch the boot image in case ram disk is no for you in that case you will have to patch the recovery image except for if you have a xiaomi device in which case you will have to patch the boot image the million dollar question is where do you find the boot image or the recovery image from the answer to that is you get it from the fast boot rom for your device now where do you get those from in my case i have the google pixel 6a so i can get it from google's official page where do you find the version so you need to go into settings and then you will go into the about page and once you are in about go into the android version you can see this is my build number so i need to download the corresponding factory image for this specific build from google's factory image pages once i do that all i need to do is unzip that file and within that i have another file once i unzip that i will have the boot image if you have a xiaomi device then again you can download the factory image the fast boot flashable rom from a website which again is linked in the description of this video unzip it and you should have the boot image in certain cases you will end up with a payload dot bin file when you unzip that zip file the process to unpack that payload dot bin we have a separate video for that which again can be found in the description of this video all right so i have downloaded the factory image for 
my specific device which is the google pixel 6a running android 13. we are on the main page of fx file explorer we will go into main storage and then we can go into the download folder and let me change the view to list view and this here is the factory image zip file for my specific device next thing we need to do is we need to unzip this file now do note you can unzip the file on your phone on your computer whatever you are comfortable with and for fx file explorer press and hold the file and make sure it is highlighted and selected three dot menu on the top right and then we are going to say open with here and on the next screen we need to select archive extractor and then top right one more time and say extract here now once the file has extracted successfully you will have a folder with the same name if i go inside this folder i have another folder and if i go inside that folder herein you can see i have my bootloader image and i also have radio image but i do not have the boot image so that means i have to unzip another file which is this one over here so again press and hold make sure it is highlighted and selected three dot menu on the top right select open with archive extractor three dot menu on the top right one more time and select extract here but before we do that if you see the contents you will notice we have boot.img over here so i'm going to select extract here now in certain cases when you download the factory image zip file for your specific device you might get a payload.bin file in that case you will have to unpack that payload.bin file now it can be done on the computer it can be done on the phone as well and videos for those can be found in the description of the video the basic aim here is to get the boot.img file now once that file was extracted successfully i have a folder with the same name go inside that and bam here it is this is the file which we are looking for boot.img so i'm going to press and hold on it and i'm going to say copy then i will go back to my downloads folder just to make it easier for myself when i have to patch this file in magisk next so i'm going to select clipboard over here and then i'm going to say paste so this is going to paste the boot.img in the download folder now if you do the unzip process or unpacking the payload bin file on your computer you will have to transfer it to your device next thing we are going to open the magisk application and on the next screen we are going to select install over here besides magisk you have install we are going to select this option then it is going to ask us for the method you have to select and patch a file this is going to open your file manager application and again you should know where you have transferred the file three bar menu on the top left and then you have to select your device's name in my case it is the pixel 6a here and i will go to the download folder and all i need to do next is select the boot.img and once i've done that i'm going to say let's go so now the boot image is being patched by magisk once the process has finished successfully it will let us know all done and this here is the path where the file is so as you can see it is in the download folder let us go back to our home screen and then we can open fx file manager one more time and by default we are in the download folder so here it is this is our original boot image and this here is the patched boot image so at this point all you need to do is connect your phone to your computer and transfer this patched boot image or the patched image to your computer so to transfer the files to the computer once you've connected your phone to the computer using a USB-C cable swipe down it will tell you charging the device tap for more options and here and select file transfer and at this point the device should show up on your computer as an external storage device and then transferring the boot image which has been patched is as easy as drag and drop now once we have transferred the file to our computer the next thing we need to do is we need to boot our pixel 6a or your device into fast boot mode now the process can be different for different devices but on this one first of all disconnect your phone from the computer then you can swipe down access your quick settings panel expand it on the bottom right we have the 
power button we are going to select that option and select restart now as soon as the screen goes black we are going to press and hold the volume down button and this is going to ensure that we boot into fast boot mode so there it is we have successfully booted into fast boot mode and at this point we can connect our phone to the computer one more time and for the further steps we'll move over to the computer so here it is we are on the computer and from the computer for starters you need the drivers installed and of course video on how to install the drivers can be found in the description of this video then you need adb and fastboot for your operating system so if you have windows you have mac or you have linux this here is the official android developer website and here and download the appropriate version i have already downloaded it and here it is you will get a file with the name of platform tools now within this very folder i have placed my magisk patched boot image next thing you need to do is you need to unzip this file so i am using winrar which is installed on my computer you can use any software which you want to i will select open and for the trial i'm going to say i do not want to buy it right now we're going to select over here extract and we are going to say okay just make sure you note down the path where it is extracting it by default it will be in the same folder where you have the zip file and once you select okay we are going to close the winrar and next up we have a folder with the same name if i go inside this folder another folder platform tools and here and i have my adb and i also have my fast boot now we can go back to the main folder where we have our magic patched boot image the folder for platform tools and we have the zip file next up we have to move this file which is your magic patched boot image to the platform tools folder so i'm going to right click on it and then i'm going to select copy then we can go inside the folder where you have adb and here then you also have fast boot and we can right click and then we are going to say paste once that is done you have your fast boot here and you have the magic patched boot image in the same folder then we need to open command prompt mac and linux users will need to open terminal and navigate to this specific path where you have your adb and fast boot for windows all you need to do is tap on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted and selected press the backspace key on the keyboard type in cmd press the enter key and that is going to open up a command prompt window now on this command prompt window the first command which we need to enter is to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not and the command for that is fast boot space devices mac and linux users will need to enter dot slash before the command and then we are going to press the enter key and there it is you can see my device is being detected in fast boot mode and as i mentioned earlier if your device is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed how do you install the drivers video for that can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we need to flash our patched boot image so the command for that is fast boot flash boot and then the name of the file in case you patched the recovery image then you will have to flash the recovery image and you will replace fast boot flash boot with fast boot flash recovery and then name of the patched file now how do you get the patched file i personally recommend that all you do is go to that folder and then you can drag and drop this magic patched boot image into your command prompt or terminal that is going to plug in the whole path that's it no need of typing the name and stuff and then once you've verified everything is absolutely fine all you need to do is press the enter key and as you can see it is sending boot underscore b now in your case it might send boot or boot underscore a as long as you get the message that it was sent successfully finished that means that we have successfully transferred or flashed the patched magisk boot image onto our google pixel 6a and then once that is done the next command is to reboot our device and the command for that is fast boot space reboot now once i enter this command the device is going to reboot and at that point feel free to disconnect your device from the computer and pretty soon we should boot back into android 
Back into Android, if I now go into the Magisk application, you will notice that it is going to tell me that Magisk is installed. So here it is, you can see Magisk is now installed. It tells me installed version is 25.2, Zygisk is not enabled, Ramdisk is yes, and that's it. We have successfully rooted our Google Pixel 6a running Android 13. Now, if you ever run into a situation wherein your device does not boot in that case all you need to do is transfer this original boot image and flash it on your device just like we flashed the magisk patched boot image and you should be good to go and you can always flash the original boot image in case you want to unroot your device and there it is peeps that is how you root your google pixel 6a running android 13 or root any Android device without a custom recovery. And that will do it for this one. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.